Project Kusha is India's ambitious initiative aimed at developing a state-of-the-art long-range air defense system intended to enhance the capabilities of the Indian Air Force. This project is a significant step towards achieving self-reliance in defense technology, particularly in air defense systems, and is being spearheaded by the Defense Research and Development Organization with an estimated budget of Rs 21,700 crores. The system is designed to detect and neutralize a variety of aerial threats, including cruise missiles, stealth aircraft, and drones. It will feature advanced long-range surveillance and fire control radars, providing comprehensive coverage and tactical advantage. The performance matrix of Project Kusha is expected to rival established systems like Israel's Iron Dome and Russia's S-400. It will incorporate multiple interceptor missiles with ranges of 150 km, 250 km and 350 km, aiming for a high probability of kill rate reportedly over 80% for single shots and over 98.5% when two missiles are fired in succession. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. Project Kusha represents a strategic pivot from reliance on foreign systems, particularly the S-400 which has faced delivery delays due to geopolitical tensions. The Indian Air Force plans to develop 10 squadrons of this indigenous system, marking a shift towards self-sufficiency in defense capabilities. This variety allows for a comprehensive defensive shield against diverse aerial threats, including drones, cruise missiles, and stealth aircraft. It will incorporate sophisticated long-range surveillance and fire control radars, capable of scanning airspace up to 500 to 600 kilometers deep into enemy territory. This capability is crucial for early detection and engagement of threats. This dual launch capability significantly enhances the effectiveness of the defense system. The dual missile strategy allows for a substantial increase in the probability of kill against incoming threats. When two different interceptor missiles are launched sequentially with a mere 5 second gap, the kill probability can rise to approximately 98.5%. This is a notable improvement over the single shot kill probability, which is around 80 to 85% for each missile. By employing two different types of missiles, Project Kusha can engage multiple targets or provide a backup if the first missile fails to intercept. This layered approach ensures that even if one missile does not achieve its objective, the second has a high chance of success thereby providing a more robust defense against sophisticated aerial threats such as stealth aircraft and cruise missiles. The ability to launch different types of missiles allows for tailored responses based on the specific characteristics of the threat. For instance, one missile may be optimized for high-speed targets while another could be designed to engage low-altitude drones or cruise missiles, enhancing overall operational flexibility. The quick succession of missile launches minimizes the time window during which an incoming threat can evade interception. This rapid response capability is crucial in modern combat scenarios where threats can emerge unexpectedly and require immediate action. In contrast with Project Kusha, the S-400 has four missile types designed for a broader range of targets. While both systems are designed for long-range engagement, the S-400 has a slight edge with a maximum range of up to 400 km compared to Kusha's maximum range of 350 km. However, Kusha's multi-tiered approach allows for effective engagement at multiple ranges. The S-400 is reported to have a kill probability of around 90% but lacks detailed public data on dual launch capabilities. The radar technology in Project Kusha is designed for advanced detection and tracking capabilities, scanning airspace up to 600 km deep into enemy territory. This is crucial for early warning and threat assessment. The S-400 also features advanced radar systems, but specific comparative metrics are less publicly available. Both systems are capable of engaging a wide array of aerial threats, including stealth fighters and drones. However, Project Kusha's design emphasizes its ability to counter modern threats effectively, akin to the operational scope of the S-400. While Project Kusha aims to provide capabilities comparable to the S-400 system, there are notable differences. 
It aligns with India's broader defense strategy under the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative, promoting indigenous manufacturing and reducing dependency on foreign military technology. The shift towards an indigenous air defense system also mitigates risks associated with international sanctions and supply chain disruptions, particularly given the ongoing geopolitical tensions affecting Russia's ability to deliver military hardware. Once operational by 2028-29, Project Kusha will significantly bolster India's air defense network, providing robust protection against a range of aerial threats from potential adversaries like China and Pakistan. Jai Hind!